been dealing with health data management for a long time, but we generally see it in silos. We see it with some of our members who, you know, follow HIPAA compliance or have to follow like European GDPR compliance. But that's the only level that we were seeing health data compliance in India. And now that we're seeing it more of an interdisciplinary approach, we're kind of seeing uh, the industry waking up to it. We're seeing private practitioners waking up to it. And uh, I think this is the best time to talk about it because yes. now we have regulations coming out. Now we have legislations coming out. We want to wake everyone up to the fact that this is an inevitable future, so might as well get on board right now. Sure. So, um, yeah, in terms of the conference as well, the interdisciplinary approach is what's fantastic because you have the practitioners saying, okay, these are our problems from this side of the alley. Now you tell us what your solutions are. So from ultimately as regulators, when we write laws, we're writing to solve problems and we are able to get real life data from practitioners on the ground. We're able to hear, you know, sort of like uh, system designers and technicians that are building the software saying, no, the regulators are not helping us find the right data or doctors are saying okay we're able to get the systems but they're not performing as efficiently so this kind of cross uh, sectoral or like cross intersectional understanding of you know what the issues are oh, we have a solution okay we understand the problem I think is the real solution and uh, for that I think this is a fantastic event yeah so I have only one question for you yeah uh, you we heard uh, Johnny Oman yeah from Bissam Katak talking about the other side of India yeah and uh, he did really ground us in our thinking mm -hmm. and uh, ha after having listened to him uh, do you think the way we are approaching data privacy on an Indian level uh, is it going to further marginalize people or mm -hmm. is it going to empower the kind of people that he was talking about yeah. that we would exclude absolutely so any problem with technology is that you know the, the marginalized continue to be pushed to the uh, pushed to the ends because simply a lack of digital understanding is something that you know deeply affects us so we call it the epistemic divide so we realize that if you've had a fairly uh, wealthy upbringing if you've been uh, kind of trained in the digital space you've had access to these tools then the chance of you actually caring about your digital presence because you've cultivated one from since you were younger matters so that's when principles of privacy principles of security matter to you because you've made this persona on the internet right yeah. you care yeah. about it but if you've never been given access to these things then principles of privacy don't matter as much mm -hmm. right or they're not I mean it's not that it doesn't matter at least in your psyche it's, it's not yeah. as maybe important so and the epistemic divide between you know how much the industry knows about you and how much the government knows about you and how little you know about the systems that are you know working um, while they're dealing with your data is a really big problem and that is more and more uh, accentuated the more marginalized you are in, in society. It's an accentuated problem like every other social problem. If you are from the backwards community then it affects you a little bit more than it affects anybody else. So it's the same it's the same strategy here as well. But I as a as a as a regulatory practitioner as a, as a as a legal professional, I truly believe that regulation is is the way that it's going to be solved.